guys, Sherelle here from Planet with a Praise. If this is your first time coming to this channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. So glad to see you. And I hope that by now you have subscribed to my channel and are now a part of the praise team. So in today's video, I want to show you how I use the Happy Planner Filler Paper to make a bill pay chart. So the purpose of creating a bill pay chart is so that you do not miss paying any bills throughout not only the month, but for the entire year. So what I'll be doing today is I will create a bill chart that will list every single bill that my household is responsible for for the entire year. And what I'm expecting this bill chart to do is two things. Number one, I want to make sure that by using this chart, I do not miss paying any bills throughout the year. The other thing that I'm expecting that this bill chart is going to do is give me a heads up before the bill is due. Now, I don't know about you, but a lot of households will find that some bills are paid monthly and they're very easy to remember because we're doing it every single month. Then some of us have bills that are paid bi-monthly. Again, not hard to remember because that bill crops up every other month. Now, the thing is that I have certain bills that I pay once a year, okay? I have another bill that is paid quarterly. So by creating a bill pay chart, it allows me to go ahead and look at that bill chart and give me a heads up when a bill is due. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pulling out some filler paper from this book. I use this particular binder to keep all of, or at least a good amount of my filler paper inside. So I'm going to pull out, I guess two or three sheets because I'm thinking that um, I'm going to need about two or three sheets to create this bill pay chart. I'm thinking about this note to self because it's plain, but I don't like that note to self. So, oh, here's some colored paper. And not really feeling that, oh wait, purple. Mm -mm. No, um, let me see, sorry about that. Um, I should have picked out some paper sooner, but I didn't. Um, you know what? I am going to stay with the note to self. And if I need to, I could always just go ahead and use my handy dandy whiteout to get rid of that note to self header. So let me start by just taking these pages um, off of the disc. And um, I did prepare some stickers for this project. So let me just show you. Um, I have this uh, quote sticker book from the Happy Planner. This is a sticker storage organizer that I created long, long time ago. Um, so the stickers are from multiple different sticker uh, books. I also pulled out both of my Glam Girl sticker books, um, both the mini and the regular. So I'll be using those. Um, as far as my tools are concerned, I always have my handy dandy X-Acto knife, a pair of scissors. Of course, I'm going to need something to write with. Um, and then I pulled out this um, stencil from the Happy Planner because I have some plans for this while creating my um, bill pay uh, chart. I have my permanent adhesive that I always keep close by, and of course my big whiteout. So those are the tools that I'm gonna be using to create this, um, this page or pages. I have a feeling that I'm definitely gonna be using more um, than one page because I took a snapshot of um, all the bills that I pay throughout the year and they're not fitting on this one page. <laughs> okay, so um, to get started, I want to first create a margin so um, and once this margin is created I'm gonna go ahead and pull out um, 
the stickers that I want to use to decorate this page. Okay, um, so what I'm doing now is I'll be pulling some stickers from this sticker book. This is the primary sticker books I'm gonna be using is um, from the Glam Girl. And I chose those because I knew that they had these um, dollar stickers and that's what I wanted to use to decorate the margin. So I'm gonna just start placing these randomly in the margin. Let's see. Now, I don't expect that, you know, this page is gonna be uber decorative. My main goal is to make sure that it functions the way it's supposed to. Let me just take these from underneath. So before I continue, let me see what quote. I know there was one quote already from the quote sticker book that I wanted to use and I went ahead and already marked that page. And it just simply says rise and grind. Okay, there we go. So that's that. Now I'll continue with these stickers up top. I just think they're so cute. Okay, and I'm going to end the margin with this sticker here. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing up here. I'm just gonna let that uh, decoration carry over into the top of the page. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right here only because I want to be able to put the header on this page that says bill pay chart. So I'm going to leave this space available for that purpose. So next, let me just go ahead and grab my pen and I'm gonna go and start writing down all the bills. So what I, I'm doing um, just so you know is I'm writing these down in different sections so I have a monthly section a quarterly section a biannual section and an annual section okay and then I also um, will be creating a section for incidental debt and I'll explain what that is once we get to it so um, let's start by writing down what the monthly expenses are. So my first header is going to be for the monthly expenses. And for me, they are mortgage, car note, car insurance, Fios, which is cable, cell phone, PSA&G, which is our energy, Vivint, which is our solar, Easy Pass our water. Now I have to tell you that we get two separate water bills and they are due every other month. But the reason why I'm putting them in the monthly category is because even though they're paid every other month, 
they are opposite each other. So say for example, one is paid in January, the other one is paid in February, one is paid in March, the other one's paid in April. So even though they are um, due every other month, each month I do get a water bill. So that's why I'm doing that. Next is iTunes, Insta Ink, which is my monthly subscription for ink, Weight Watchers, Okay, let me go ahead and get another sheet. Okay, so that I could continue. So I have to grab my black marker and I'm just going to put monthly continued. So I know I didn't do any decorating to this page, but I will. And it's probably gonna be similar to this page providing I have enough stickers otherwise we will find something else to do okay so after the Weight Watchers is our emergency fund our money challenge our tax reserve account the money market gas groceries and Liberty spending so now the reason why you see me adding the emergency fund and other savings accounts to this uh, bill pay chart is because when you are budgeting, you have to allow, um, you have to make sure that you are considering the money that you are using out of your income to be placed and distribute it in other areas. So because we put money each month into these accounts, we want to make sure that we are budgeting for it. And so that's why it's in the bill pay um, chart, okay? And then um, the same for gas and groceries. It's not that we have a debtor to these particular categories, but we do have to make sure that we have money each month to satisfy um, our gas and grocery expenses. Now the Liberty Spending Account, this is basically our pocket money. Um, for the most part, my husband and I, we just use our debit card. So because of that, we make sure that we have an allowance for our pocket money and we call it Liberty Spending. Okay, so that is everything for the month. Okay, now I want to go ahead and write down our quarterly and get that header done. Now, far as quarterly goes, we only have um, one expense and that is our homeowner's insurance. The next category up is our biannual payments. And I'm going to pull yet another sheet of filler paper for that because it's not going to fit at the end of the previous page. So for biannual, we have our AARP subscription, our fuel oil expense. Now our fuel oil is not a bill per se, but we know to expect to pay for oil at least twice a year. So I need to just pull out my big whiteout because I didn't mean to write right underneath the AARP. So fuel oil and lastly, our Gerber life insurance that we have for our children. Okay, and then we have our annually paid expenses and that is our Amazon Prime. So I need to back up and just erase this AARP because it's actually in the wrong category. Our AARP is actually an annual renewal. So we're gonna put that under annual. So the last category we talked about was our incidental debt category. And once I get all of those items written down, I'll explain to you what that is. So in that category, we have Lowe's, QVC, Capital One, Bank of America, Amazon. So here are the three pages 
uh, that make up our bill due chart. Okay, um, now I did tell you that I was going to explain to you the incidental debt category. So what it is, and it's real, real simple, um, is these are the cards that we use very regularly throughout the year. Um, we don't keep a balance on them, but we do use them for making purchases. And then when the bill comes in, we pay it off. And so, for example, right now, we have a Lowe's bill that's coming up real soon because we had to replace our refrigerator recently. Um, and so we take advantage of using each of these cards for various reasons. Um, for one, if you are a credit holder to Lowe's, you know that they always have some type of promotion. Um, QVC, I am just a QVC shopper and I take advantage of their easy pay. Um, and then Capital One and Bank of America we use for their rewards program. So for example, when we are going on vacation, we will use one or both of these cards and then pay them off when the bill comes in. And Amazon, hey, listen, I'm like everybody else. We are using that Amazon card um, for purchases. And then again, when the bill comes, we pay off. So we don't keep any revolving debt on these cards. So that's our incidental um, category for our um, credit cards. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to go back to these two pages, create a margin and go ahead and decorate these pages just so that um, they are complements of the first page. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab up my um, stencil that I use to create my margin. And then once the decorating is done, there is one more step and then we'll keep moving. Okay, so let me pull from my other Glam Girl sticker book. So I'm gonna stop and pull up my quote sticker book again and see what stickers I might be able to use um, that would fit in this spot right here. Okay, I like this sticker right here and I'm gonna use it. And it's simple, it just says uh, she believes she could, so she did. Okay. Okay, so that's as decorative as that's gonna get. Let me just go ahead and add a couple of more of these cash stickers, and then we'll move on to that very last page. Okay, let me put that off to the side and work on this page. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take these bill pay envelopes and I'm going to just go ahead and put them on first to make up space. And then I'll add the cash uh, stickers.
So if you find having a bill pay chart useful, let me know in the comments below. Are you one of those people who every now and then forget a bill? Okay, I have a few left, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of sprinkle them at the top here, and I'll do the same with that second page. Bring this page back in and do the same thing. Three. So this is what the sheets are looking like. Let me bring back that very first sheet. There it is. So I'm liking it. I, I think they're cute and functional all at the same time. So I have this one little sticker left and I am not leaving it in the book. <laughs> so let's see where I can put this. Let me see. Um, okay, I think this page looks kind of sparse. So we're gonna put it here. Uh, but where, I don't know. Okay, so what I did was I just moved some of these stickers around um, just to fill up some space to add an extra sticker. And then I just added this one little lonely baby right here to fill in some extra space. So this is what it's looking like now, my friends. I am very, very, very happy with what I'm seeing so far. And then there is one more step to completing this page and that is adding some bulletins. So what I will be doing is, and I'm only gonna do one row because this portion of the video can be very, very monotonous otherwise, I'm just gonna take this stencil and I'm going to be adding bulletins um, underneath each uh, bill pay category. So uh, to do that, I'm just gonna line up the um, stencil underneath each category and I'm just going to go across and make little uh, bulletins and so what you can do is each month when you are preparing your budget you will begin to write down each bill that needs to be paid and then to ensure that you're not missing anything you will just go ahead and um just check it off showing that you already made that particular item a part of your budget for the month. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. Um, so again, under fuel oil, and this is the biannual category, you would just, you know, when you're creating your budget, say for October, and you know that you need fuel oil, when you're writing down all your expenses for the month, you'll just kind of check off and say, hey, I already wrote down fuel oil for this month's budget. And then this way, it just kind of creates a really smooth uh, transaction for you. You're making sure you're not forgetting anything. Um, and so that's what these pages are purpose to do. So guys, I really, really do hope that you found this information useful. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanna go ahead and put these pages in the front of my financial planner because that's where they're gonna live um, to help me when I am budgeting each month and to make sure that I am not missing anything. And lastly, page three. Okay, so there you have it. This is what it's looking like. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button. Again, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel, especially if you want to see more content like this. This is Sherelle from Planner with a Praise saying peace and blessings.